Hello and welcome to my FireMonkey video blog. This topic today, um, optimize your workflow with managed records, is also valid for VCL and all other platforms. Perhaps you have already heard from the new managed records in Delphi 10.4, but you have no idea how you can use it. I'll show you one possibility, for example, to optimize your workflow with the handling of string lists. Sometimes you need one, two or three string lists in one procedure and um, this example should mimic it a little bit. Here I have an example where I created uh, three string lists uh, always the strings B test, A test, A test are added and uh, displayed in the message dialog. And in the second part, we have a sorted string list where duplicators are accepted. And in the third part, uh, we have a strict sorted uh, string list where duplicators um, are not accepted. When I run this program, uh, we see the typical result. Um, B test, A test, A test. There is a sorted list and this is a strict sorted list. So we have always to declare this uh, string list and uh, use it with a try finally a block to be sure that the memory of the string list is free when we are ready with our work. We could perhaps create all string lists uh, in the beginning and uh, free all in a um, finally block at end. So we could save two lines of code. But I show you another uh, possibility um, to work with um, managed records. And you see we saved in comparison with this block uh, nearly 20 lines. By the way, I have to explain that I used here the inline var declaration that is possible uh, since uh, Delphi 10.3. When you look at the code, uh, you see we have a declaration of a TMR string list, but no create and no free. How should this work? Um, this uh, TMR string list is an um, Manage record. This is a short unit I've created by myself. It has uh, 70 lines or so. As value, we have uh, declared the list that is a string list, and we have uh, two class operators: the uh, initialize and finalize um, uh, functions. And here, the initial uh, values are set. When we have a look at the initialize, you see here um, the list will be created and in the finalize function it is here, then the list will be freed. But how is it done? Uh, it's not done by us, it's done by the compiler. And also uh, the freeing of the objects. So when we run this uh, program again with this routine, we will have the same output. But interesting would be the first breakpoint and uh, the last breakpoint that I set here. And run this program now. And click on this second button. And follow it by F7. So, and you see we are jumping directly in the initialize block and the string list will be created. And in the following, it will be the same for the other lists. And interestingly, when we are at the end, um, you see no freeing here. And I press F7, we're jumping in the strict sorting list and here the uh, string list will be free. I press again F7. It, pre it jumps to the sorted list. It will be free. I press again F7 and it uh, jumps to the string list that finally will be freed. And then we are done. 
and we have no memory leaks, all memory is freed. So this makes the handling with string lists uh, much more easier and you uh, can use your favorite kind of string list. And I will show you that you can do um, one thing more. You can declare also this managed string list, for example, in the public sector of a form and can use it. And when you leave the program, it will also automatically be free here. And I will show you it when we have here the uh, finalized section of a, a normal string list. I run this program. Um, and we can use it, for example, uh, here in this um, create event. And when I close the program, it is also here in the finalized section of this managed record. So that makes it very, very easy to use a string list inside of a form and you have no problems to f find the right point when the string list is to be freed. So I hope this helps you uh, a little bit and have fun with the uh, managed records. Bye bye.